I think a lot of audiences are really dying for live entertainment. You don't get to experience artists in the way you used to. You're kind of waiting for the next packet of content, and all of a sudden the live entertainment experience or the live concert has become kind of the epitome of an artist's you know, representation. I think the most unique thing about a music event is just the combined focus and rhythm that you can get people into at these events. When you go back and even look at some of, or any of our performances, there's always very primitive, primal, basic things that reign through all of them. A single beam of light at the right time beats a thousand lights randomly wiggling in the air. A single stripe of LED video on rather than $300,000 in content. Smoke is an integral part of a lot of performances. It allows you to see those lasers, it allows you to see those lights, it allows the thing to creep through a moment. And any show is in contrast to black. Taking the time in your day to make sure the venue that you're performing in can actually get black is an important thing that most people skip over. These are things that I'm doing in a large scale room that is 1,000% scalable. Years ago, every DJ wanted a Daft Punk show. Every hip hop artist wants Kanye West performances. All of those shows are unique to those performers because those performers put the time in to create those experiences. From the second we have a tour schedule or a show schedule, you're under the gun. Once tickets go on sale, you're not changing the date of the show because of creative. And if you do, it's a complete failure. When we built St. Pablo, it was the first show I created when having a kid. There was an energy to life at that time that, cool, this is a driving force. We had the Parkan. A Parkan is a simple lamp, but it's just a single incandescent light bulb with a reflector and a gel filter. There's no encoders or there's no moving light doing pan and tilt. There's no glass doing color mixing systems. There was nothing. It was one light goes on and off. And that's it. We took that and then we went with modern engineering, modern layouts, automated truss systems, and new weight ratings to make a whole new experience that no one's ever really touched into before. So a lot of times it's using the oldest technology we have with maybe some spit of the new one to build a new experience. When you go back and even look at some of, or any of our performances, a lot of artists you know, get to their first theater, their first arena, their first whatever show that they think is awesome, and they celebrate that as if it's the achievement. And I think too often, the latter happens when it comes to the stage performances. You have people spend years and years of time developing an album. The album is this unbelievable created experience audio-wise. The live event is the unbelievably created experience that the artist is still only focusing on the audio side of. There's a mass void on this other end of it that some people take and they thrive in that void and they actually bring you to a new world. Other people stand in front of a video screen and walk back and forth and it doesn't work as well. At the end of the day, the only thing that does not change is doors will open and a show will happen. Hit that first hurdle, have that great album, and then do that arena, and then do whatever the fuck you want to do after that.